Well, welcome back again today. Right, before we kick the video off, or, or should I say four videos off, it's not going to be a video of everything in depth. Basically, it is a process of what engine builders go through. It's not the case of getting everything together, putting it all in the engine block, and hoping, fingers crossed, it's gonna be okay. There's, it's not gonna work. There's so much that engine builders and work for, basically. This is, this is their process. So some of the video hasn't been seen like uh, the engine being wedged, uh, pistons being bored, the decking, uh, everything being balanced, i.e. pistons, con rods, uh, the crank, basically been uh, balanced with the uh, clutch assembly and with the harmonic damp dampener. This is just a genuine one for what engine builders go through. It's not just a case of uh, throw it in and it's gonna work the next day sort of thing. It's, it's quite a long process to do the job right. So right, we'll go crack on and uh, hope you enjoy. Welcome back to the channel again today. Right, today uh, is engine building day. Uh, this is going to be spread over a couple of shows building it, basically. But we've got the block back. Uh, we've cleaned all the crank up uh, with these things in the little crank holes and all that lot. Got to clean, keep it clean, keep cleaning it. Got um, loads of bits to do to it, basically. We've got to build the pistons up. They've all been weighed and ba uh, balanced and that, and made sure they're all the right weight and that. So you've got the rings, the piston one, ring two, the piston two, etc., etc. And then obviously, we've got the conwards. So they've got to be all cleaned up and everything. They've been balanced and all that lot, so they all weigh the same. Get some more bits done, uh, get some bit more cleaning done, uh, get the crank in, measure the big end bearings, and uh, yeah, to see if it's all to spec, and then uh, crack on. Every time, every time you do something, give it a quick clean, clean it off, blow it off, and continue putting the rest of the stuff in. So every time you do something it may seem like a lot of cleaning but you have got to keep cleaning everything every time even the back of the shells is every time you're putting anything in make sure it's all uh, dust free clean and there's no dirt or anything or anything what is going to contaminate it or get in the way
got all the uh, measurements for the crank now. So that's all done. Give them a good old clean. Um, I've put the jets in already, so they go in before you put the crank in. So what we'll do now is uh, carry on putting the rest of the caps in, get it all lubed up and put the crank in and get that all bolted up. Now moving on to the end cap. Base, as you can see, put a smidgen of uh, sealant on there. So basically, what I've done is I've pre-lubed the end of it. Uh, try not to get none on the insides there. Uh, just got these other bolts, which I've just got to tighten up and talk down, but I'll do that once the other, the end cap's in. Now, everything's all done. The crank's all tightened up on the main end bearings. It's all free flowing. Everything's all nice, no resistance. Remember, if you get to this stage and you get any resistance, um, obviously you've got a problem. So you're gonna have to recheck all your gaps and uh, your measurements again. What we're gonna do is we're testing out for the uh, thrust bearing, which is in here. Uh, we're going to check the movement from the um, thrust bearing basically. So we've got our needle gauge, we're going to install that to the engine quickly, uh, set it to zero. Um, we're going to tap it, the crank in with a rubber mallet just to knock it to one side and then basically put a bar in somewhere and move the crank over and see what movement we've got and what play we've got. 